the round object that moves in the sky around the Earth and shines brighter during nighttime. And we call it the moon. <laughs> Terrific day, everyone! I'm your Sci Virtual Teacher Alex, and I will guide you to understand different and amazing things around us. Are you ready to join me in my today's lesson? Come on! Let's take an adventure in a scientific day. Come and let's enjoy this time with me, your savior will be sure. Let's take an adventure in a scientific day. Come and let's enjoy this time with me, your savior will be sure. Ready for takeoff? Fasten your seatbelt as you familiarize yourself with the different phases of the moon. The moon is the large round object encircles the earth it shines brighter at night by reflecting the light coming from the sun but when you look into the night sky you will have noticed the moon appears vary its shape at night for example some nights the moon may see like a narrow crescent other night it may look like a bright circle and some nights, you may not be able to see the moon at all. The difference appearance of the moon in a month is because of the phases of the moon. Now, let us explore the different phases of the moon. On this topic, you are expected to identify the phases of the moon. Second, draw the phases of the moon. And third, infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. As we observe the moon, it tends to change shape every day. However, the moon itself does not actually change shape. It only appears to change shape because the part of the moon that you see is the only part of the moon illuminated by the sun. For example, when only the half of the moon is being illuminated by the sun, then you will see the half of the circles only. This different shape of the moon is called phases. Let us know more about the phases of the moon. There are eight phases of the moon. These are New Moon, Waxing Crescent Moon, First Quarter Moon, Waxing Gibbous Moon, Full Moon, Waning Gibbous Moon, Last Quarter Half Moon and waning crescent moon. The phases of the moon start in the new moon, when the moon is dark and invisible to us, because the moon is between the sun and the earth. The illuminated side of the moon phases away from us. Next is the waxing crescent moon. It is when we can only see a silver of the moon disk of our right hand side. When the moon has revolved to a 90 degree angle from the earth, and the sun at 7, it has reached the first quarter moon. We can now see half moon while the other half is invisible shadows. One half is illuminated by the sun. The right side of the moon appears bright and the left side appears dark. The next phase, about 10th day, is the waxing gibbous moon, where we can see three quarters of the moon. The moon is more than one half illuminated by the sun, but not completely illuminated. It continues to grow until finally Earth is between sun and the moon. Then after roughly two weeks, the moon is now in the position with the Earth, sitting between it and the sun. So we can see its fully lit side as a full moon. Then we see the waning gibbous moon. It is when we see roughly three quarters of the moon lit. 
the left side of the moon is lit. The moon is one half illuminated by the sun but not totally illuminated. It occurs when the moon's illumination decreasing. After several days, last quarter moon will appear. The moon is one half illuminated by the sun. The left side of the moon appears bright and the right side of the moon appears dark. It is also called third quarter. Later on, we can see the last phase of the moon, the waning crescent moon. When we can see only the silver of the moon disk on the left hand side. After the space is complete, the moon cycle will start over again. Let's take a recap about the eight different phases of the moon. New moon, waxing crescent moon, first quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter half moon, and waning crescent moon. Good job! Wow! Now that we know the different phases of the moon, isn't it amazing? Now, let us go back to the pictures that I have shown you a while ago and let us identify the phases of the moon. Here is the first picture. Good job! This is what we call the waxing crescent moon. How about this? What phase of the moon is this? Great! We call it as last quarter moon. And the last picture, it is called as... Excellent! This is full moon. Good job, Kasayan Terrific! Now, let us see if you can identify the phases of the moon being described in each statement. Are you ready? Let us start. Number one, the left half of the moon appears bright and the right side of the moon appears dark. What phase of the moon is this? Last quarter moon. If this is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Number two, we can only see a small piece on the left side is lighted. After this phase is complete, the moon cycle will start over again. Waning crescent moon. If this is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Number 3. The moon is more than one half illuminated by the sun but not completely illuminated. Occurs when the moon's illumination is decreasing. Waning gibbous moon. If this is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Number 4. The whole side of the moon facing the earth becomes lighted. Full moon. If this is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Number 5. The moon is less than one half illuminated by the sun but less than one quarter illuminated. Occurs when the moon's illumination is increasing. Waxing crescent moon. If this is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Wow! All of you are amazing and terrific! Now, let's continue our journey. Get your paper and pen because it's time for... Silicon Scene! Draw in your paper what pieces of the moon I will illustrate. Are you ready? Number 1. The moon is almost directly between the sun and the earth. This is the beginning of the cycle. New moon. If your drawing looks like this, then your answer is correct. Number 2. A bit of a sunlit side of the moon shows on the right side. Waxing crescent moon. If your drawing looks like this, then your answer is correct. Number 3. The moon is a quarter of its space around Earth. It is in their first quarter phase. 
first quarter moon, if your drawing looks like this, then your answer is correct. Number 4. A moon is increasing in light between a first quarter moon and a full moon. Waxing gibbous moon. If your drawing looks like this, then your answer is correct. Number 5. Two weeks have passed after the new moon. We see the entire face of the moon shining. Full moon. If your drawing looks like this, then you're correct. Good job, Cassiante Refake! But before we end my discussion for today, let me share you some facts in SciFacts! Did you know the first man who stepped in the moon was Neil Armstrong on July 20, 1969? The moon does not produce its own light. Rather, it reflects light coming from the sun. Did you know? The moon is believed to be 4.5 billion years old, the same age as the earth. Can you imagine their ages? Did you know? The moon has no atmosphere nor water. It only comprises a rocky material that is heavily scarred craters from meteorite impacts. Speaking of appearance, why not try to observe the moon every night? Try describing its position and its appearance. I hope you learned a lot today and I hope you apply this learning in your daily life. Till our next wonderful day of learning experience, once again, I'm your Cybertool teacher Alex saying, Our everyday life is full of amazing scientific experience. You just need to observe and explore because science is everywhere. Bye everyone!